Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin out of oil pastels that I have here and a black piece of either construction paper or poster board that you may have and you'll need a pencil to draw with. So here are a few samples that I've done. And what we're gonna do is just layer, but we're gonna have to start with our base colors and then we'll work into adding the shadows. So let's get started. To start, and this may be a little bit hard to see because it's on black paper, we need to draw our pumpkin out. So I'm gonna start with a simple shape of an oval here, but I need to plan it out. So I maybe want it about this tall because I'm gonna want room for the stem also and I don't want it right at the edge of the paper. So I'm going to start with an oval, and I'm doing light sketchy lines here. And from the oval, then we want to draw some C shapes, or you could think of them as ears. And we don't want it starting at the top or at the bottom. So I want it to connect to these, so I'm going to make the marks so I know where I need to go. So I'm going to draw the, say, C shape out, or a big ear. And I'm going to have it set a little bit back, so it's not straight across right here. And then the same thing here. And the good thing about a pumpkin is it's not perfectly symmetrical, so you can get away with having one side a little bit different than the other. So now from these two points, I'm going to make the stem. yours can look a little bit different than mine. And I'm gonna add some sides to it because this looks like a very tiny one. And this goes back here. And I'm gonna have it come to these two points. So here and here. And these are not as wide. And by putting these parts back here, it's going to give it that dimension that it's going around. And the other little trick is that people forget a lot is there'll be a back side of the pumpkin that they forget to put in. So don't forget these little lines right here. So what that is would be like this part but on the back side. So now that I have that drawn with my pencil, I'm going to pull out my oil pastels and I'm going to start with the very lighter colors or also the warm colors that the object is then we're gonna start adding body to it by putting in some shadows and stuff but we need to work on the light section of it first so I'm gonna pull out the yellows a couple of oranges if you have like a yellow orange that would be great too and I'm gonna use a little bit of red and I could even pull out the red orange that I have so if you have a bigger pack, you can have a bigger choice of options. Otherwise, I just would stick with my red, yellow, and orange. So to get started, I'm going to pull out the orange one that I have, and I'm going to just trace around the pencil lines that I did, and not of the stem, though. And if you watched my other video where I have it on the cream piece of paper, you'll notice that this is looking a lot different because cream is a lighter piece of paper, so it's going to have a different tone value than us doing it on a black piece of paper. And then I'm going to go into our yellow, and yellow is the base color of this. So I'm going to do where I'm just gonna fill this in And I'm going to put it on all the parts here. Curve with this to get it on. And you're like, why are you doing yellow? Well, we want a highlight part on our pumpkin. So yellow will be that part. And you can always add in a touch of white or cream if you have those colors that little back part. Then I'm going to build this up with, I'm going to find my other colors, so I'm going to put a little bit of red in here, and I'm going to do that on the bottom edges of it, and you could do your red-orange too. I'm going to go back and do that. 
so this will start adding that shadow to the pumpkin because this is the part that's not seeing all the light like the top of it would be. And what I'm also going to do is, not on the center one, but right behind it on the other side, I'm going to carry that up with some red. So it's given it that dimension of curving in and out. So not right here, but on the back side of it. Not on this one, but right on that little back. I'm going to curve up so I'm starting to add body to my pumpkin. And because I had a red-orange, I'm going to put some of that in there also. I'm just going to do this more towards the bottom. So I'm just adding a base of everything. And we could do a little bit on the top just to help give it dimension. So I'm curving with this and not going straight up and down because this is a curved object so we want to follow the contour of what the object is. And the contour is how it forms so it's curving around that way. And we could even curve it back and forth to help add dimension to it. So now I'm going to go back and use my orange that I had and add in some color there. Because a pumpkin is orange, so we want orange on it. And you may find different oil pastels go on paper differently, and it also depends on what kind of paper you have. If it's a smooth paper, like what mine is, it will go on differently than if your paper is thicker and has a tooth, or which would be the texture of the paper. And you'll notice it's also looking different than the one that is, which I just happen to hear, on the cream paper. So we have a black background, so it's going to be going on a lot different. And if we were to use chalk, that would go on a little bit different. And so would, say, colored pencil. You could even draw pumpkins out. I've done it in using ink pen with the cross hatching. You could use markers with pointillism. You could even do pointillism with oil pastels if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go back and still touch this up. I did have this golden orange, and I could put some of that back in. I'm just gonna put more of that on top, just so it's given the warmth and the highlights. We just had yellow we could add that back in so let's put a little bit more yellow on it and if you find your oil pastels are getting kind of dirty and mucky I just keep a tissue there to wipe it off paper towel would work also as you work you may need to pull the paper back on them that's you know what you got to do So now I have a start base color and where the red was I'm just going to go put a little bit more orange to start with before I get into some other colors for the shading part. So for a shadow for the pumpkin I'm going to use brown and I'm also going to pull out the black and I could use a little bit of green in there too if I really wanted to. So I'm going to set these aside here and I'm going to pull out, I have a warm brown and I have a darker brown and I'm going to pull out the black just to get started on things. And to do that where we were putting the shadow, I'm going to do brown here. So where I was putting red, I'm going to put brown now and that's going to start making it darker. Do it towards the bottom too. Blend it with my finger some. Sometimes when you do the oil pastels, it blends itself. Sometimes you may need to take your finger in there and blend it. Some people like using a tissue to do it, but I find the tissue takes too much off of it, so I just use my fingers to do it. I'm going to go back and put some brown here now. Little bit more 
brown. And it's one of those of look of your pumpkin. Do you think it needs more yellow? Does it need more of the orange back in it? This is like a reddish brown, so it's adding some depth to it. Then what I'm going to do is take those colors and put some in that stem. How about I just outline the stem some in the brown here. And I am going to put green in this stem also. But I want some dimension in it since I'm putting all the layers on the pumpkin. I don't just want a solid green stem. And then we could add just a slight little touch of the black down here. Blend it. If you're blending with your finger, you may want to wipe it off on the tissue just so you're not smearing in other colors. I'm just following the curve of the pumpkin down here just to help get some dimension. And the black will go a long way, so don't be heavy-handed when putting the black on. You may want to come back up here, just put a few little marks. So it's starting to get that dimension again. If it gets lost, just touch it up with a darker color. So what I'm also going to do is, at the moment, go and do the stem here. So I'm going to pull out some of the green colors I have. And I'm going to do a little bit of the darker green in it just to fill it in. Then I'm going to go with the other green. I'm trying to think of how it would be flowing through, how that vine grew, and then that part that was cut off so we'd be seeing some of it. Where's one of the darker parts of the stem, so maybe that's the darker part. A little bit of the lighter on top of it. And blend it with my finger again. back and put some more of the green in. Right on top, that way it's giving it some highlights. So you can see how it grew. Go back with the other green. You could even go back and grab that brown that you had and put some in there. even add a touch of black right at that bottom if you wanted to to help with the shadow part of the stem. Maybe a little bit more there. So what I'm going to do now is use the brown that we had and I'm going to go around here just a little bit. This is that lighter brown. I'm going to use some of the darker brown now right up against this. This will add some of the shadow. This way it looks like it's sitting in the dirt still. And you could draw this in a whole series of the pumpkins, so where it's in a whole pumpkin patch still if you wanted to. You could draw your little face on it with your pencil to start with and then still fill this in. Do the background to where you're seeing a whole haunt house. It's kind of up to you where you want to go with this. It could be a nice fall picture with some leaves. So I'm not just going to leave a black line right around it because you're like, well, that looks strange. So I'm going to fill this in right around it more. And just bring the lines outwards. Let's just go and put some more brown in this area here build up our layers like what we did with the pumpkins on the other one. Up here we added layers. Smooth it. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it needs some highlights back in it. So I'm going to grab my yellow again. Clean it off a little bit here. Pull the paper away just a little bit so I can have some more. Start adding those highlights back in. Follow in the contour. 
grab my orangish yellow here, just a little bit on the top. You could even go back with the regular orange if you wanted to. I was talking about if you had a cream color or if you have a white, you could even go in here and add a little bit of a highlight to the top. And I'm just following the curve of it. Don't forget the little parts in the back. Just about adding layers then let's see I think this just looks a little bit too dark so I'm gonna blend it in just a little bit more maybe blend in my orange I'm just gonna use the side of it to help build everything mine broke earlier when I was using it so if you have pieces that's always a good thing too Touch everything up a little bit. And go back and touch up just a little bit of this spot. It's looking too bright orange right in those areas. Because that would be the dark area. And then, like I say in light colors on top, you could even take the cream and put a little smudge of it right there on top. And then a little bit right up in that area. And there we have it. So now all you need to do is your signature. And I'm just gonna do a black down here. And the date. Thank you for watching.